Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today we're going to film this uh, episode right here on location. And what I want to talk to you guys about is the second episode in your do-it-yourself series, or DIY series, and that is the proper application of different pesticidal dusts. And what I'm particularly going to refer to today is diatomaceous earth, because there's a lot of talk about diatomaceous earth, and people want to know how to apply it properly, and if in fact it does work for bed bugs. So what I want to do is I want to talk about a couple different things, and we're going to start with diatomaceous earth itself. There is research out there that does indicate that diatomaceous earth can be effective against bed bugs. But what we do know is that if it is going to be effective against bed bugs, you want to make sure you're getting an ample amount of dusts to the actual bed bugs, and that it is probably more effective against immature bed bugs and stress or starved bed bugs. But either way, it can be effective. So people want to go out and purchase this and apply it for their bed bug problem in their home, and that's fine. The one thing I do want to caution you guys to is that there is some research out there that is suggesting that different types of diatomaceous earth can drastically affect the effectiveness of it against bed bugs. In other words, that this one that I have here in front of me is called Mother Earth D, um, and it is just one form of diatomaceous earth, and there are other forms out there. And depending on the form that you use is going to depend on how effective it is. And there are forms of diatomaceous earth out there that may not be effective at all against bed bugs. So one thing I can highly recommend, because we've used it and we know there is research out there that does show that it's effective, is this form right here, which is called Mother Earth D. So again, diatomaceous earth, you got your dust here, it can be effective against bed bugs. And so what people now do is they purchase some and say, let's apply it in my home. The first thing I want to say about that is that if you do that, you want to make sure you thoroughly read the label on the product and follow the directions for use as indicated on that label. That is very important. They are there for your protection. And remember, people look at this because it's an all-natural product. It's actually made from crushed fossils. And they look at it and they say, okay, it's just diatomaceous earth, no big deal. You know, I can just go ahead and apply it however I want to. Well, that's not necessarily the case. You know, it is still a pesticide and it is a dust which can be abrasive to your lungs and possibly an irritant on your skin. So you want to make sure that whenever you're applying it, that you're applying it in a manner that's consistent with the label on the product. Okay, so let's just talk theoretically here. So you go out, you purchase some Mother Earth D, and you go into your home and you're like, okay, now I got this product, how do I apply it properly? And what I want to do is I want to show you a couple different things while we're sitting here. Now the one thing that's great about diatomaceous earth is that it has a very liberal label, meaning that you can do a lot of things on this label that you can't do with a lot of other pesticides because it is such a low toxicity. Now some people get it though and they bring the dust into their house and they say, okay, well I'm going to try to kill bed bugs with it, let me just go ahead and sprinkle some like that. Now so now here you have a bunch of diatomaceous earth right on the carpet. And Although on the label it may permit for the dust to be used in that fashion, that is not the most effective way to apply this dust. And in actuality, that application may end up not doing anything. And it's unfortunate because, you know, I go out and do a lot of bed bug services myself, and we see this quite commonly, where people get the dust and they just start sprinkling it around their bed or underneath their bed, and that really isn't the most effective way to use the dust although the label may permit it to be used that way. You know, a bed bug could come out of one of these cracks on this wall, go down the wall, and that is very dry to the insect. That is actually how diatomaceous earth kills the insect, is that it's a desiccant and it adheres to the insect's exoskeleton and actually dries it out. And the bug may walk down this wall, sense that dust there and sense how dry it is, and end up just walking right around it. And so, the other concern we have with an application like this is, again, I know that it is a very low toxicity product and people try to view it as a very, you know, just a, a very low toxicity product and they go and sprinkle around their bed. Well, what if you have kids or dogs or cats in the house? You know, it may not be a good idea to be exposing them to that dust. So again, although it may permit for it to be applied that way, our perspective, Bed Bug Central's perspective, is that may not necessarily be the best way to, to uh, apply it. And a better way to apply it is to actually try to get the dust to where the bugs are. 
So basically, we know that bed bugs hide in cracks and crevices. That's typically where they're at. So when we come in with a dust product, whether it be a dry dust like this or an aerosolized dust, we're going to try to get that dust to where the bugs are. So what we have and what we use is a dust bulb like you see here. And basically what you do is you just fill this bulb up with the dust and it has this applicator on it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come into the home and you can see, well actually you probably can't see because it's pretty far away, but there's a crack right inside or right up against this baseboard between the baseboard and the wall. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring it in and I'm actually going to just lightly squeeze this and try to get the dust into that crack right there. And you can see, you might not be able to see it, but there's a little bit of a cloud of dust coming out from where I just applied it. And then you can also take it above this switch plate and get it right inside there. And that's really where you want to be applying the dust, is in the cracks and crevices and in the voids, because that's where the bugs are. And once you treat those cracks, if that dust does not become wet, it should remain active for a long period of time. And so really, that's the most effective way to apply dusts. So if you do go out and buy a dust, whether it be diatomaceous earth, or for that matter, any other dust, you really kind of want to make sure you're getting it into the cracks and crevices. You're getting it into where the bugs are. And that's going to make that dust as effective as possible. And then real quick, you know, we've talked about climb up insect interceptors on this uh, TV show all the time. We think it's a very effective product. People want to know if they can buy DE and sprinkle it in the bottom of those climb up insect interceptors. And again, that is not necessarily a problem. If you do go that route, you want to make sure you just apply the DE in a very light fashion in the bottom of those insect interceptors. And then if bugs fall into them, hopefully that DE then goes ahead and, you know, kills the insect. Um, so basically that's what I wanted to cover. I wanted to cover the effectiveness of diatomaceous earth, which we've talked about in other episodes, but I also wanted to show you guys how to properly apply a dust inside your home if you do end up going that direction. Again, you always want to follow the label on the pesticide, or uh, whatever the pesticide is. The way I applied this DE on the carpet right here, that would not be a proper application, and actually an illegal application for a lot of the other dusts out there. So again, you want to make sure you're following the label because this would be a misapplication for almost every other dust that's out there. That's not a good application, but that's DE. And you know, I see people do this a lot in their homes and I wanted to show you guys that that's really not the most effective way to apply the dust. You want to get it in the cracks and crevices. But again, always follow the label directions. I don't want people to see this and get the wrong idea. You know, oh, I can just dump it on the floor. Maybe that's the case, but it may not be the most effective way. Alrighty, everybody. So if you have any questions about today's topic, please email me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have about this or any other topic we have. Alrighty, I will hope to see everybody soon enough.